Hi guys, it's Shani from Yanomize and today's video is all about my Lamborghini Aventador S. You guys know, it's wrapped in chrome red. I love the wrap. Mark and Nico have done a fantastic job. What's the problem? I've done about 4,000 miles in this car now. The wrap looks really, really tired. I've done a rally in it. I've battered it around. I need to change the wrap. This video today is sponsored by Vikings War of Clans. I love this game. I play this game with my eldest son, Andreas. Listen, you guys know I travel around a lot, so I need something to do when I'm bored, sitting on the train, sitting on the plane, and I play this game. This game is famous due to its massive online battles between clans and even country. Over three million players fighting in these battles together. If you're into mobile strategy games, you'll really like this one. It's the most addictive game I've played on my phone in a long, long time. Try it for five minutes and you'll see what I mean. Go and download the game. All the details are in the description down below and get 200 gold for a fast and successful start. Obviously, I've got a Yanomized clan. Come and find me and let's do battle. So let's have a quick look around my car. So as you can see, it's behind me. It is a Saturday at Yanomize, so we are closed. So there is my car. I'm actually gonna turn the camera around for you guys. So in a bit more depth, I did say to you, I'm gonna change the wrap of the car. The reason is, if you look, I don't know how well you can see that on camera. It's got like little white specks all over the vehicle, especially the front end, and that is all because of doing the rally. Um, it still looks great in chrome red, it's a fantastic colour but you guys know that I do change my colour fairly quickly even on the rear quarter, I don't even know how the hell that happened, look at that my wheels are all fresh as usual, I don't really curb wheels, I have done in the past but I try not to, so there she is to be honest, I absolutely love this car I know I had the Aventador Roadster and that might, nope, that did look better than this to be honest with the body kit but obviously I'm going to be putting a Nero body kit on this. That is the company I've got with myself and Simon from Urban. So the back obviously missing is a massive spoiler. It needs the spoiler. So that is the original one. This goes up now on a button. But we're going to have a nice big spoiler on the back in carbon. I'm going to add quite a bit of carbon to this car. It's already got this little bit here. And a few other little bits and bobs like here. Obviously my tints are very, very dark as you can see. The top is satin black. So we come to the front of the car, it's already got like a little little splitter on the front. This usually comes in carbon. But I'm gonna add a longer version to the bottom of the original one to give it a real mean look from the front of the car. It does look great, it looks very similar to the SV. But with the carbon front, I think it'll make a massive difference. Everything's gonna be Nero on this. I'm also changing the wheels. Yes, I have got the SV look wheel, but I'm changing the wheels as well. So, all new wheels, carbon side skirts. If you look at the side skirt here, it doesn't really do much. Comes out a little bit, but I think it does need a bigger side skirt and it will come up here. So it'll come up a little bit higher. So once it's got the full kit on this, I'm gonna keep this. I know I always say that I sell my cars and I keep them for a short period of time and this has only had this for probably a couple of months. I've nearly got 5,000 miles on it already, which is a hell of a lot for a Lambo. But the whole idea is to drive it, enjoy it. I love the four wheel steering on this car. Massive difference. It's also a lot more comfortable. The previous cars, they weren't comfortable. The gear changes weren't great. And a lot of the pictures I post on Instagram, she just looks like a gloss red car. But with the sun, I don't know how well that comes across on camera, but chrome red really is bright. Inside it's got the Alcantara, the red stitching. Actually it doesn't have any carbon inside. So I'll probably be adding some carbon. Oh, there's my mileage, what's that? 4285, don't know how well you can see that. The Lambo emblem on the headrests. But yeah, I really actually enjoy this car. Some more carbon there. That's the original colour, as you can see it's grey. I didn't wrap the shuts and returns. I always say to people, if you've got a dark car, you can get away with not wrapping the shuts and returns. If this car was white, you'd have had to do it. And while I'm here talking to you guys, so I was here to obviously do this video. I'm actually gonna cut it a little bit short. This is Lenny, the geezer's car. That's his golf car that is actually going in. He's got a new one coming, so that is why he hasn't got the Mr. Geezer plate on it. You've also got Alex has just turned up in his golf. 
it's like a golf parade and then behind you got Jack Duncan in his 720s McLaren hello guys there's Alex hello. Lenny Zav Ara look at Lenny Lenny with his tan this is Jack Duncan 720s look at this Jack what number was this out the production line how early was this car Third or fourth customer car. Third or fourth customer car. It's not what you know, it's who you know, yeah? For people that don't know who Jack Duncan is, if you click here, you're gonna see a real special car. You could call it Aston Martin Vulcan. That is Jack Duncan's car. But look at this car. Awesome looking car. Obviously we had the P1 here. Look at the interior. Nice bag, Jack. So this is the new cockpit, look at this. Look at that. It is literally like an aeroplane. Let's see, Jack's obviously a little bit short, so it's quite close. This car is very special. Yes, I know some of you are gonna say that I've been following me a while that I don't like McLarens. I think I've changed my mind a little bit with this one. I think this one looks really good. So it's the Launch Edition 720S McLaren. It's got a lovely spoiler on the back. Brand spanking new. This car is actually booked in on Monday to have some work done. We'll be wrapping quite a few panels and adding some pin stripe to the vehicle. What do we think about this? Obviously we had the McLaren P1 here yesterday and now we've got the 720S. So you've got Jack Duncan's one, we've got Anisha's one coming as well. Once this comes in on Monday, this will also have branding on it. Jack, come talk to me. <laughs> He'll be back. You met Jack Duncan briefly. There he is. Jack's had quite a few cars done by us. Um, his Huracan, his... Vulcan. Vulcan, yeah. special. Vulcan special. And now obviously we've got the 720S. I'm actually going to give you an exclusive on this, yeah? This is actually coming out tomorrow, Jack, and your car's actually not coming in until Monday. That's correct. So, so what are we going to do? A bit of gloss black on the bottom. We're going gloss black, yeah? Gloss black, To go with obviously the gloss Got black. Got time with the top. Everything else to blend. So gloss black, what down the side gloss skirts? Gloss black down the side skirts. A bit of red, uh, red pinstripe going on as well. A bit of a throwback to the Vulcan. Okay, so we're going to go red and gloss black. Yep, tying it all in. Yep. Rear diffuser, red pinstripe again, highlighting the whole thing. Very bit nice. On, bit on the uh, spoiler as well. Once again, copying the. When Vulcan. you say a bit on the spoiler, what here? Yeah, just on the, literally this lip. Just on the lip. lip on going the edge. All the way across, and then just a bit of pinstripe on the front splitter. And that is it. And that's it. So we're keeping it simple. Less is more. What colour is this car? It's glassy or white. It's glassy or white. Because it's not actually white white, is it? It's no, like it a bluey... I don't know how well you can see this on camera. It's like a bluey... Let's put the light on it, Jack. Jack's going to put a bit of a light on it. Is it? No, that probably it. doesn't help can't see at anything. all. <laughs> but it's like a glassy or white colour. But it is, it's awesome. It's a great colour. I think black in this car just hides everything. This is probably one of the nicest ones I've seen. It does look very froggy from the front, doesn't it? It does. That's the thing what we spoke about with the red pin driving. Yeah, it's the, go with it, the lights. So it'll break up. These lights are special. Look at these lights. Look at that. Imagine seeing that coming down the road at you. It's mean, but it's like, hi, I'm nice, but I've got a bit about me. It's not angry, no, is it? No, not at all. It's nice, it's soft and sweet. It is, mate, it is. Like you. <laughs> <laughs> Jack's obviously a good driver. He drives the Vulcan around the track. And that Vulcan has actually been at Yanomai. So we had to wrap it on site at Aston Martin. Um, yeah, Aston Martin. But he brought it to us after it was in America. We had to redo the bonnet because it overheated. Look at that. Look at that. Going that way, and now we're gonna have Alex. Let's hear Alex. Alex just had a little exhaust put on this. I ain't gonna lie, I think the golf sounded better. Comment down below, let me know golf or McLaren, which one was better. And they're back. That was a proper quick journey. I think Jack wanted to save his petrol. Let's see what Lenny thinks. 
What do you think? <laughs> You've been in some fast cars. I've been in some really fast cars. That is impressive. Really? Total, I mean, 900 brake horsepower GTRs, your Aventadors, Hurricanes. This is like ridiculous. Like special. Does it? Away. Does it hold though? Does it hold yeah, on the road? Does it stick? Yeah, really, really sticks. Like, Not twitchy. Right, no, it's a little bit yeah, twitchy. Little bit. Unbelievable. Jack, it's compare like, this to the Vulcan. It's a different beast. I mean, in a straight line, I've got to be honest. This feels on par with the Vulcan. Really? In a straight line, this is as fast as the Vulcan. When it gets to the twitchy things, obviously, or the twisty and turny bits, it's when the Vulcan comes into its element, really. Slightly different, this is a road car, it's a track car, but for a road car, the performance is... Top speed in this? Do you know what, I don't know, I think it's got to be over 200, 205. Top speed in the Vulcan? 212. And how, how far have you done in the Vulcan? I've done 185. 185? Yeah. Bloody, I've done that in my Lambo. <laughs> Bloody hell. Yeah. You've done that in my Lambo. Yeah, I've done that in your yeah. Lambo. No, I've done 208. What did I do in your Hurricane? I've done 208 in his actually, Hurricane. This is, actually, this is the fastest I've ever been in any car with Jack in the Hurricane. Yeah. Yeah, so Jack's got, Jack's got a green Hurricane. I actually done 208 um, VMAX. Um, top speed. Not bad. 208. So, in this video, with myself, Zav, Murty, Jack, man like Lenny. So from all of us, man Dev. and the next time they're gonna see us is 3rd of September, Supercar Sunday. Yeah, we all there? Yeah. You in the country? Don't know, yeah, maybe. <laughs> Rich people in here. Rich people don't even know where they're gonna be. I know I'll be there with the rest of the crew. We'll see you there, and from all of us, bye. Peace.